miscellaneous questions disha and devya are partners in a farm sharing profits in the ratio of 3 to 2 respectively the fixed capital of disha is rupees 4 lakh 80000 and devya is rupees 3 lakh on 1st april 2015 they admitted hina as a new partner for one fifth share in future profits hina brought rupees 3 lakh as her capital calculate value of goodwill of the farm and record necessary journal entries on hina's admission here hina is admitted for one fifth share old ratio of disha is to divya is 3 is to 2 Let the total profit of the farm be one. The remaining share of Disha and Devya after Hina's admission is equal to one minus one upon five is equal to LCM five. Five minus one is equal to four upon five. Disha's new share is equal to four upon five multiplied by three upon five. That is equal to twelve upon twenty five. Then Divya's new share is equal to four upon five multiplied by two upon five. This four upon five will be shared among Disha and Divya in the ratio of three to two. Three five fifth will be taken by Disha and two fifth will be taken by Divya. Hence, the new share is twelve upon twenty five and the new share of Divya is equal to eight upon twenty five. Then. Hina's new share one upon five multiplied by five upon five. That is five upon twenty five to equalize the denominator to twenty five. Now the new ratio of Disha is to Divya is to Hina. That is twelve is to eight is to five. Sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio. Disha's sacrifice is equal to three upon five minus twelve upon twenty-five. That is equal to LCM twenty-five. Five three is a fifteen minus twelve. That is equal to three upon twenty-five. In the same way, Divya's sacrifice is equal to two upon five minus eight upon twenty-five new share. That is equal to LCM twenty-five. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 by 25. Therefore, the sacrificing ratio of Divya is to Divya is equal to 3 is to 2. Expected capital of the farm according to Hina's capital, that is rupees 3 lakh multiplied by 1 upon 5, that is equal to rupees 15 lakh. Less actual capital rupees 4 lakh 80 thousand is the capital of Divya. And that capital of Divya is rupees three lakh, and the capital of Divya is equal to rupees Divya is equal to rupees three lakh. Then total actual capital is rupees ten lakh eighty thousand, but the expected capital is fifteen lakhs. Hence, goodwill of the farm is equal to four lakh twenty thousand. Hina's share of goodwill, that is rupees four lakh twenty thousand, multiplied by one upon five. That is equal to rupees eighty four thousand. This is Hina's share of goodwill. Hina's share of goodwill is equal to rupees four lakh twenty thousand multiplied by one upon five. That is rupees eighty four thousand. And this eighty four thousand even Hina could not pay. Now the fair notes, proper journal format, and fast entry without any date. Cash account debited to Hina's capital account. There is no date. Being capital received in cash from the new partner Hina, incoming partner Hina, that is three lakh in the debit and three lakh in the credit. Now, Hina could not pay for his share of goodwill in cash, and here the capitals are fixed. In the first line towards the end, second last word, fixed capital. Hina's current account debited rupees eighty four thousand. To Disha's current account rupees fifty thousand four hundred. To Divya's current account rupees thirty three thousand six hundred. Being premium money, not received from new partner, transferred to old partner's capital accounts in sacrificing ratio, and the total of both debit and credit column will be 
रुपीज थ्री लाख एटी फोर थाउजेंड इन द डेबिट एज वेल एज क्रेडिट रुपीज थ्री लाख एटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड द फाइनल टोटलिंग ऑफ द बोथ द कॉलम्स डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट इज रुपीज थ्री लाख एटी फोर थाउजेंड इच 